Good morning, Tim Sites here. Wanted to do a quick video. Sometimes trading can really be simple. Um, there's a lot of different stocks. There's a lot of different patterns and theories and theses. I just like to keep it simple. A high of the day breakout on a pre-market spiker with news, low float runner. The question is how far can it go? We've seen this happen. Pre-market, the high was 370. That's it. That's all you need to know. High here around 8.50 a.m. High here around uh, 9.02 a.m. 370, double top. But it starts uptrending right near the market open, okay? I said this specifically. I just made, you know, nearly a thousand bucks. Um, I said this specifically in the watch list right here. In the watch list, I sent this out. Didn't know that I was going to be trading this stock, but I said, learn from this new video lesson. Realize every day we're getting tons of big spikers. Don't worry if you miss one or sell too early. Just try to take a piece of the move. Watching for high of the day breakouts, ideally near the market open. Okay? This is not rocket science. We're seeing tons of plays do this. Um, in the watch list, I said, learn from EVAX. Yesterday, it spiked 6 to 13 near the market open, back down to the eights. Uh, most of the day, squeezing shorts even more, 14s after hours. Near the market open, near the market close, big runners with news, shorts get squeezed. It's that freaking simple right now. Um, I know that it seems simple, because you're like, come on, what's the trick? Is this a scam? It's not a trick, it's not a scam. Sometimes strategies are just so obvious and it's it's cool you know it's like the market handing you opportunities the question is are you ready to capitalize are you prepared are you ready to act fast enough do you have your plan ahead of time do you know the price ahead of time um you know right as i said this look at this the high was 370 twice in case you didn't understand the watch list i also said this in chat right before the market opened and I didn't know if it was going to break out, but I thought that it might. Um, this was at 9.29 a.m. I said, nice PCSA strength. Let's see if it can take out morning highs and really run. Okay. Everyone's trading all sorts of things. I have one stock, um, you know, very simple. Can it break 370? And by the way, this could run even more. Some people say, why not give it more time? I don't care. I literally could not care less if it goes to five. I could not care less if this is the top and it comes back to the threes. My whole thesis was, could it break the pre-market high and really run? And it did. And it did. Okay? This was alerted by Stocks and Trade Breaking News several times pre-market. If you're not even using Stocks and Trade Breaking News and you're just using Stocks and Trade scans, fantastic. Okay? It's a technical breakout. And it looks like this could go even more. Some people are like, oh, are you going to get back in? I don't care. I literally don't care what it does right now. I'm filming this at 9.40 a.m. Eastern. My morning trading is done. It's done. Nearly a thousand bucks. Nothing huge. Not very stressful. I'm putting in less than $8,000. So don't say that you need a lot of money to do this. This is the ideal strategy right now. In this hot market, every day there's a lot of big spikers. You're looking for the high of the day breakout. This wasn't even that huge of a breakout, okay? Um, but at the same time, it's more than enough. It's a good single. Uh, actually, it looks like it's coming down a little bit. It's it's tried to break the fours a few times. Now 390. Even if I was still holding, even if I was like still in it somehow, if I got greedy, I would still be up 10, 15 cents a share. Like, it's so difficult to lose in this market by focusing on this pattern right now. If you focus on any other pattern, it's very easy to lose. Never forget, 90% of traders lose. Um, and in case you don't remember uh, EVAX yesterday, sorry, I, my, my schedule is a little uh, crazy right now because I'm, I'm actually flying back to Miami as I'm doing this. I'm, I'm trading and traveling, as I always say. Um, I got a Miami meetup tomorrow and Friday uh, for Inner Circle students. Excited to see uh, some of you guys in person. Um, this was EVAX yesterday, and I missed this one. This is the cool thing, too, where if you miss a play, you know, you start to say, okay, I missed it, but 
because of this hot market, there probably will be other opportunities. Uh, so this was EVAX over the past few days. Nice little run up here. Um, you know, this is after hours, by the way. This is when it, it really started spiking. But again, the question is, can it break the day high? This one was actually much better than PCSA. But this is it. From after hours, the previous night, very simple. High of the day breakout, break past 10, and it goes from 10 to 14 in about, what is this, 10 minutes, 20 minutes? When it breaks 10 right here, um, you got like a little volatility halt, which, you know, even if I had been in it, I don't know if I would have done well. I don't, I don't really do well with volatility halts because it looked like it was actually topping here in the 970s. It did break to 11 and use 10 as support. So this is another option. Sometimes, you know, you don't get the the easy, perfect breakout like we just saw in PCSA. Sometimes you get, you know, this is a volatility halt where it starts squeezing actually from the eights and it squeezes from the eights to the tens, which is an interesting way to break out. But then it holds 10, okay? Um, you gotta just look at, at past key levels and it holds 10 basically, then it spikes 10 to 14. So whether you're catching it a little early with the volatility halt, which sometimes you have to because, you know, these things move so fast, or let's say you miss this, which is completely understandable because it's a really weird breakout and it goes from the 8s to the 11s, but then it holds 10. All you have to know is that the after hours high the previous day was 10. And if you're recognizing, okay, hot market, these plays can keep running. And obviously, you know, it, it, it keeps going here. Like this is another late day squeeze. But I really like this at the market open right now. Um, and this worked very well. LVTX, by the way, some people are sending me this, um, you know, because they have this collaboration deal with Merck. Theoretically, it should do well. What was that? CCCC did a deal with Merck and that kept going for several days. We'll see. But this is not really, you know, perfect because at the market open, it didn't retest highs. I mean, you can also apply this here where pre-market it's spiking from the ones to the low twos, back down to the high ones, back to the low twos. And then this, you know, you think that it's a double top and this is pre-market, but pre-market it goes from, you know, 220 to 280. So I prefer near the market open, but also some people are, are really crushing it pre-market. Got to give uh, some shout outs to some students, Gary, uh, nailed SXTC and LVTX pre-market. Uh, Josh and Thea, I love them. Nailing it. They just came to uh, Bali with me. Some inner circle students. I don't know if they're going to come to Miami. That might be far for them. Uh, but they just nailed PCSA. Uh, Sal just nailed PCSA. Bad King nailed LVTX. Easter Child nailed ONCO. And Paula Point nailed LVTX. So many plays right now. So many morning spikers. Um, but you do have to lock it in. As you see, LVTX went from 220 to 280, now back down to 220. Uh, PCSA had the breakout here above 370 to the 420s. Now, well, not back down to 370 yet, but still in the 380s. So this is why I say don't worry if you sell too soon. Um, this turned out to be a pretty good sell. I didn't know. If you had actually asked me when I was selling, would this be a good sell? I would have said, A, I, I don't care because it's a single. But if you ask me, what do I think the stock is going to do? I probably would have thought that it would go further. And some people say, well, Tim, if, if you thought that it would go further, why would you sell? Well, this is the case. I, I can think it goes further. It doesn't mean that it's going to. Be meticulous with your trading. Take small trades with small targets. Aim small, miss small. Um, you know, now... On the month, I mean, I'm, I'm traveling all over the place this month. This is a crazy month of travel for me and nearly or actually over 11K now. Um, pretty cool. Think about that. Think about that. Lots of small gains added up, some small losses too, but it's okay. You're taking singles and because this is such a hot market, simple breakouts can work. This won't work in all markets. I'm not saying always buy the high of the day breakout, but in this current market, with a lot of shorts, with a lot of momentum buyers, with people with small accounts where, you know, you, you see a play work over and over again, you do it over and over again. It's really a nice strategy. So I have a crazy day of travel to get back to Miami from Asia. I'm flying in from Asia. So 
traveling way too long. Um, and for me to be able to do this, you know, with, with just uh, a very small amount of time and a small amount of capital, I love it. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're buying these breakouts, if you're seeing them. Congrats to everybody on this hot market. It's beautiful. So uh, funny enough, you know, I, I stopped doing the video. I got to get going. Uh, PCSA kept going. Um, interestingly, it's halted right now at 479. But even when it came down, this is such a great point. Even if you missed that first breakout from the 370s to the 420s, it came back to the 370s. And now it's an even bigger squeeze. So, uh, you know, I didn't plan on doing the second video. But as I said, with EVAX, where, you know, it spiked up too quickly, you would have had to like be early or you miss it. But then it came back down to 10 um, and then, you know, really squeezed to the 14. Same thing with PCSA. This is crazy where I caught the first one. And like I said, I don't care. I still don't care what it's doing right now. But it's it's interesting for me to see that. And it should be interesting for you to see that you don't have to be there right away if you do somehow miss that first breakout always beware of what that key level is okay um it's the same key level where it it bases right here the pre-market eye was 370 and it bases in the 370s and maybe if i you know was looking to to trade again maybe if i didn't have a crazy travel schedule maybe i would have gone back in but i doubt it you know i'm better at just the morning highs but this should make you feel better um, RVSN also uh, is squeezing up. This just got halted. Uh, oh, it's unhalted now. It was halted for a second. Um, but this is what short squeezes are doing, right? You're, you're getting these fast moves. We saw this on AUVI um, a few days ago, which I nailed. I'll wait for, for PCSA to, to reopen. Let's see if it can get to the fives. But whether you buy that first breakout and, you know, solid single, little disappointing, but not the end of the world. And now this this holding of the 370 level, you know, in one minute goes from 370 to 470. And in case you wonder, like, why I warn about, you know, short selling, this is why I warn against short selling. OK, like, let's say you're shorting in here. You're like, no, it's a piece of crap company. They're probably going to need money. There's a financing, all this stuff that short sellers say. Um, and it comes down and, and let's say you're adding to it because it does, you know, start fading in a lot of these start fading and they keep fading, but this is how quickly it can turn around. You have three minutes where it goes from 370 to like 406. You know, you're, you're, you're still safe because it's still below 420, but then in less than one minute, 420 to 470. And, and we'll see what this reopens at. Um, major props to a bunch of students. Uh, where was it? I saw Nick Bork uh, made 430 on PCSA. Nice little um, trade there. Uh, Stonk Wrangler made 200 uh, on CYN, which is another uh, runner off to work now. Um, and there was one more. Somebody else did a good trade. Oh, right here. Uh, Toasties was in at 705, out at 750. Um, oh, we're reopened now in the 470s. Anyways, people are taking singles. This is what I want you to see. Surprising. Actually, I would have thought that it would squeeze more. I'm going to watch it. I, I definitely wouldn't chase it now, um, but it's it's nice to see. Well, there we go. Now we're in the fives. Wow, look how quick that is. I'm glad we are seeing this. It literally just went from the 460s to the 530s. Uh, one sec. Congrats to all on PCSA. I wouldn't chase here in the fives. Remember to sell into strength. Don't get greedy so beautiful is this working <laughs> the wolf hunter says holy shit pcsa i'm glad you're seeing it wolf hunter you know now you're seeing why i don't like to short now you're seeing why i think it's really good uh toasties just sold uh, PCSA made a dollar fifty. Dre Lane made like sixty cents a share. Matt just sold at five twenty. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Karina says, "Geez, PCSA." Uh, Garrett says, "Wow." Like I didn't even capture the the big move, and I still made nearly a thousand bucks 
on less than 8,000. Like, there's so much opportunity with these plays. It's stupid, okay? I got to give the disclaimers. I can't guarantee you that you're going to be my next millionaire student. Take singles. Don't get greedy. Cut losses quickly. Past performance is not indicative of all of that crap. And yet, there's so much upside in this hot market. And once you start to see it, whether you trade PCSA or RVSN or CYN or half a dozen other plays, freaking capitalize. This is the hot market. Use stocks to trade breaking news every day. They alerted all of these. Get in my chat room near the market open every day. I alerted all of these. Read my watch list every day. I alerted as many as I can. Um, there's just so much opportunity. And really by keeping it simple, I think that you'll be surprised. And, and I'm going to watch PCSA. Like I said, I wouldn't chase it here in the fives. You know, I was buying this, remember, in the threes. So I was buying it right in here. Um, this was just, what, 30 minutes ago now. But this is the upside. This is the, wow, 570. Really cool. Hold on. I got to tell everybody. I'm, I'm glad to keep this. And then, by the way, look at it. 570 back down to 530. So, you know, there's a reason why I say don't chase it. And now down to 510. Look at that. Same minute. It was just 570, now 510. So this stuff moves fast. I want you to see that. This is why A, I wouldn't short sell. B, it's good to buy. C, it's good to sell into strength. I really think it's a, a, a good way to trade these things where you can say, okay, near the market open, look for the high of the day. If it breaks out, you take the single. If it doesn't break out convincingly, but holds the breakout, then maybe even dip by. There's multiple opportunities to get into this. Um, let me just type this in. PCSA, such a good lesson. I'm filming video right now and got it all live. Be sure to watch this video lesson later today. Congrats to all. Oh my god, my spelling is atrocious. And my L button doesn't seem to work. Uh, Trader Cat just made over a dollar a share. Uh, Bill's Mafia. Bill's, I feel bad for Bill's Mafia. So this is, this is good. You know, 390 to 540. Makes up for your team. But this is what's possible, okay? And it's 10 a.m. Eastern right now. I have to get going. I got to travel. It's a crazy day for me. Um, but this is it. If you can focus on around the market open or, you know, the market close. Um, in this market, mind you, this is January 2024. You know, when I'll post this video when, when you watch it later. It might not be the same market. You can't always be like, oh, let me just buy the high of the day breakout. It's so simple. In this market, in January of 2024, it really works. And it worked well in December of 2024. The, the whole market is surging in the background. And that gives these kinds of speculative spikers, um, you know, the, the wind beneath their sails. So it won't always be like this. I'm just saying specifically right now, you know, I said it in my watch list. I said it pre-market. Like, let me just go back. Let me just help you understand why I do what I do, because the trades are good, but I want you to put it together with my commentary. This was at 9.29 a.m. Eastern. So we're now at 10.01 Eastern. I bought it at 3.79. And some people say, well, Tim, you bought it in the 3.70s, now 5.40s. Don't you feel guilty? Not at all. Like I said, I, I wasn't just saying it, you know, earlier. I don't care what it does. I really mean it, especially when, I, when I'm traveling. But I said this. Pre-market, before the market opened, this is when it was around 360, 350. And I said, nice PC, PCSA strength. Let's see if it can take out morning highs and really run. And that's exactly, exactly what it's done. Okay? I know, I know. There's a lot of hate with me and penny stocks. Oh, it's all a scam. And yet, plays like this work more times than not in this market. You want to say I'm a scam? You want to say that these stocks are a scam? Be my guest. The plays are going to do whatever they want, whether you realize it or not. I've been doing this for a freaking quarter of a century in hot markets and cold markets. Right now, it's a somewhat hot market. 
This isn't even a mania. If this was 2020, this stock would be at like seven or eight dollars a share by now. So this is not best case scenario, but it's really good case scenario. Um, and I just want to congratulate so many students, even if you missed it, at least you're witnessing it and you can learn and you can see and try and do better on the next one. I missed EVAX completely, but I just nailed this one and, you know, sold it nearly $2 a share too early, but my thesis was right. And I'm glad we got this on live video. I got to get going. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're seeing this. Congrats to all.